Yo tengo un lugar que me ilumina y me protege de la gente con cuatro velas de acentavo y tres jarritos de aguardiente. La bruja hace su trabajo con un tabaco en la boca, se dan cuatro zapatazos para conseguir los muchachos y un pañuelo colorado. Hey, we're going to be talking about some spiritual colonias. And spiritual waters and how they are used spiritually, magically, and as offerings to the spirits and which spirits enjoy which colonia or spiritual water on San Sista de Luis today. Luz y progreso honor and respects this is your host Sancista Brujo Luis I'm doing a video today because I get out of all my comments on my videos I get a, most of my comments are if I can do a video on spiritual colognes what are they what are their uses within Espiritismo within Sanse within 21 Division La 21 Division uh, within Maria Leonza, Umbanda, Voodoo, Santeria, Santerismo. Uh, that's a lot. That's one of the most main questions that I get within my comments. Another comment that I get is people who have never been to Botanicas, and when they first enter enter into a Botanica, it become it can become overwhelming because when you first walk into a Botanica, as you've seen in the beginning of this video. There are products of all colors and, 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 and oils for this and perfumes for that and sprays for that and statues of Indians and Buddhas and all. It could be very overwhelming. And oftentimes, uh, many people who go to a botanica, they, they stick to what they know. So I wanna do a video, of course, today about uh, the spiritual clones, you know? I'm gonna start with, with that because that's one of the questions, the most important question that I get uh, so one channel. of the biggest trends lately that I've noticed within the New Age communities, and I'm not here to disrespect the New Age communities, is that they, they feel like they've discovered two products that we've been using for so long. One is Palo Santo. Uh, Palo Santo is everywhere. Everyone is talking about the new latest craze, which is Palo Santo. Another product that <laughs> has been just recently discovered uh, is, well, this is not the Murray and Lanham Agua Florida, or Florida water. This is the Goya Florida water. Uh, I don't know why I don't have the Murray and Lanham Florida water, but it's the same thing. This one is made by Goya, which is a Hispanic uh, company, a Hispanic uh, product. So let's imagine, let's use our imagination and pretend that this was the Murray and Lanham uh, Florida water. Florida water, Agua Florida, has been around since 18, since the mid 1800s. And in actuality, if you are a pop, if you love pop culture and you love all that, uh, if you love Gone with the Wind, uh, which is a movie that was recorded, or filmed in the 1940s, there's one scene which is based in the 1800s. There's one scene where Scarlett O'Hara. Uh, is a little tipsy from drinking too much and so a uh, red butler comes you know into their mansion and so she grabs her a uh, florida water her agua florida and she gargles with it uh of course he he knows that she was drinking now first of all <laughs> i don't recommend anyone do that today because one thing you need to understand about florida water is that in the olden days these were it was natural products, natural oils, and natural ingredients. Today, uh, most of this is synthetic, synthetic. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, put the word up here somewhere. Synthetic. Uh, so I would not definitely gargle with that. Florida water or agua florida has been used in Espiritismo and in Santeria and in the Caribbean uh, for the longest time. And a lot of people think that it was originally used as a magical uh, ingredient 
in actuality it was not okay and the reason why i'm quoting that movie uh gone with the wind is because there's a reason similar to why she was doing it that we used the florida water so there is a reason why agua florida or florida water is so popular within the, the caribbean cultures espiritismo santeria it is the spiritual cologne per excellence it is the most popular one and again as i was quoting earlier about the movie gone with the wind when a uh, scarlett o'hara was a little tipsy from drinking spirits she wanted to hide the liquor and of course red butler you know could smell the the liquor in her in her breath reminds me of how uh, florida water was was used you know originally within espiritismo many espiritistas uh, began to notice in their sessions and in their veladas and in their misas that first of all they would cleanse with waters made with rose petals and and, and flowers that grew in the caribbean and they noticed that when a medium would mount the spirit, if, if you are a medium and you mount the spirit, you notice that sometimes it's very hard for uh, when when the when the when you come back into your into your physical body into your senses, mediums began to use the scent of Florida water. To a, it's made out of citrus. A lot, one of the main ingredients of, of Florida water is citrus, and citrus. Uh, hires the level of blood sugar within your blood and gets you back into your senses and recommend it for diabetics. Same thing, when uh, mediums were mounted by the spirit, they started using Florida water and the scent would get a person grounded, get a person back to their senses. So then Florida water or Agua Florida that was Began, it began to be used in their misas and sessiones, and it was also included uh, when you made that, you know, when you do a session or a velada, there's this this, this um, palangana um, basin with waters and flowers, mm -hmm. and mediums began to add Florida waters, Florida water, so that mediums can purify and cleanse during, before the misa, and after la misa, when, or la session, or the velada, after these these things occurred, when the mediums and when the spirits would leave the body, and to help the the medium ground, it was a way for them to help ground, and they realized the spiritual qualities of Agua Florida for purifying, for cleansing, and so they started using Agua Florida to sprinkle around the altars, uh, to sprinkle around the corners of the house, to cleanse the house, to clean the body uh, in their baths. So this is the cologne per excellence and it's been used since the 1800s in Cuba and Puerto Rico when mediums were doing seances. Uh, this has been used since the late 1800s within our culture. This has been always used. This is not something that we just discovered in the 70s. This has always been part of our culture. And so since the 1990s, uh, I noticed that the New Age movement have discovered it and are starting to use it within their within their practices. But I need you to understand that this has been used since the 1800s. Now, this is not the original El uh, de Colón. The original El de Colón was created by a Frenchman named uh, Jean Maria Farina, who lived in France, and he went to Germany. Uh, and when he was in Germany, he created the first Cologne, uh, and he named the Cologne in the province of where he was in in, in Germany. And uh, I don't think this is the original one. This one is from the 1700s. This has been around for a long time. This is a really popular Cologne with an Espiritismo, Santeria, Sanse, Maria Leonza, Umbanda. Uh, so this has been around a long time. Actually, so this is one of uh, oh, used one vial, which was around this size, or probably a little bit smaller, around this, one bottle a day, okay? And in those days, this was around a, a thousand, in today's equivalent of, of today's, you know, currency, would be the equivalent of $1,000, literally. It was expensive. 
only the rich could use this. So this has been around. He believed in its curative and protective powers. Uh, and so, again, this is also used within a spiritual, spiritism in a similar fashion as Agua Florida. Okay, And it's very popular in Puerto Rico, in Cuba, Venezuela, and all these places. So I've talked about these two colognes in uh, my videos before. Now, I've also talked about, uh, one second, let me fix that. I also talked about uh, La Pompeya. And I'm going to leave all the links to all my spiritual colognes down below. Go check them out. There's some where I do recipes and some where I talked about all the colognes. These are very popular with an espiritismo, voodoo, all these traditions that I've named. Ventiun de Vision, they're all very popular. Uh, this is from a French company. It's called El. I think it's LTP Pivot, LT Pivot, and if I said it wrong, I'll put the name up there. There's Pompeia and there's Rev de Or. Very popular, but these are more used when a medium is mounted, when a mediunidad is mounted by a spirit, and each spirit enjoys their certain scent. Uh, in Haitian voodoo, this is the perfume per excellence or the favorite to Erzuli Freda in Santeria. This is a favorite to the Orisha or Chum. Eh, Las Gitanas enjoy this perfume. Madamas enjoy this perfume. Eh, okay, some Gitanas also enjoy this perfume, and it's used when when the, when the spirits come down. They they use it to perfume the spirit, and in Voodoo they use this. In Haitian voodoo, this is used similar to the way Agu, the way Agua Florida is used in Espiritismo. Okay. Now that is Pompeya. Then we have Rev Dior. Like I said, each spirit has their sense. Each spirit has their likes and dislikes. Like I said, this would be more for Erzuli Freda in Haitian voodoo. In uh, Santeria Oshun loves this. In Maria Leonza. Eh, the spirit Maria Leonza enjoys this perfume. This is more, this is very soft and powdery. This is similar scents, but this is more of a spicy scent. And while these are more for cooler spirits, this is more for spicier spirits. And in Haitian voodoo, this would be used more for Erzuli Dantor, okay? For the Congo spirits. The Congo spirits enjoy this, again. In Santeria, the Orisha enjoy a lot. Many of the Orishas enjoy this perfume, uh, or they, you know, for the for as an offering or on their altars. The Congo spirits enjoy this. The Petro spirits enjoy this. Uh, mainly the Petro spirits in Haitian voodoo, and this is a favorite to Erzuli Dantor in Santeria. This is a favorite to Oya. Uh, also a favorite to Las Congas. Okay. This would be more favorite to las malamas. This would be more a favorite perfume to las conga, those spirit, la, las conguitas, um, to those aggressive, more fiery spirits. Okay, each spirit has their likes and dislikes, and I have spoken about both of these perfumes within my videos. These both come from France. They've been around since the 1800s, always in the altars. Again, many mediums use these as an offering to their spirits or to cleanse and to purify or when they want to go in the presence of their spirits, they use it to cleanse and purify. I'm just going to smell. That's a nice sweet aroma. I love that smell. And then we have so it's just a little bit more spicier. Okay. Again, they use more for offerings, and in voodoo, you will see that they use these for cleansing, similar to the same way they would use, uh, epiritistas would use la agua. So before I go any further with uh, spiritual colognes, spiritual waters, and spiritual perfumes, I want to break down just a little history, a real quick history on perfumes, okay? First of all, let's break down the word perfume. Now you see I have some incense sticks here. The word perfume comes from the Latin word perfume, 
or perfumar. Now, in Spanish, per would be por or through, okay? Fumar, smoke. So you are extracting the essence or the, perf or the aromas of your herbs, of your sticks, of your woods, through that of lighting it and, 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 and the, the aroma coming through the smoke. So the word perfume, perfume, perfumar, comes from the Latin word, word perfuma, okay? Which is to extract an essence or a perfume or an aroma through the enlightening, through, uh, from the smoke, which is the word fumar. Uh, where we get the word in English fumigate, okay? So I just wanted to break that down. Perfumes have been used, the earliest records of perfumes uh, come, they say, uh, 3,500 years before Christ and ancient Egyptians and Mesotopinians, Meso I'm gonna say that word wrong, were using uh, perfumes, uh, oils, and you know, extracts, extracts of oils uh, to perfume their bodies, to perfume their dead, uh, and only the rich could afford that. They believed that these essences, these perfumes, these, these aromas were sacred to the gods, uh, to Ra, okay? Uh, and, to their, and to their gods and their deities and their divinities. And so the earliest known perfumes were from Egypt, and mesotopenia, I can't say that word for some reason, but, and it's recorded back to 3,500 B.C. So you have these cultures in Egypt who believed in the importance of bathing, and after bathing, they, you often bathe three times after every meal, and after every meal, they would bathe or they would light a, a, an incense, a perfume, uh, usually a resin, and to get that, 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 that aroma. Another culture that used not so much perfume on the body, but uh, smoke, you know, ext extracting the, the, the aromas from smokes were the ancient Chinese who didn't necessarily use perfumes on their bodies. They, well, what they did is because, well, first of all, ancient Chinese and Japanese were always cleansing and always washing their bodies. So they would fumigate a, uh, their body, they're not their bodies, excuse me, their clothing. They would pass their clothing, clothing through the smoke and then they would wear their clothing. And that's how ancient uh, Chinese and Japanese would use that. Not so much similar like the Egyptians that used it like incenses and then also to perfume the body. Then uh, the Romans and Greeks came and they started using their incenses similar to the same way that the Egyptians used it to honor their divinities, their gods, uh, the Greek gods. So incense was used in a similar fashion as the ancient Egyptians and, and uh, Mesotopenia. So Mesotopenia. Ancient perfumes were invented in ancient Egypt and Mesotopenia by the alchemists, okay, the forerunners of today's scientists. And these alchemists were also known as wizards and sorcerers. So ancient perfume has always been associated with some, in some form, with spirituality, with the divinities, with the dead, with the gods. Actually, when uh, they call them the pharaohs would die, they would perfume down their bodies with oils uh, and incenses. Mummies were often mummified with myrrh. Uh, and if you know the biblical story of Jesus, uh, when he was born, they gave him frankincense, myrrh, and gold. And the myrrh was for when he died because the body was fumigated with myrrh. So perfumes or the extraction of the essence of of the aroma of these, you know, these ancient uh, resins have always been hand in hand within spirituality, within magic, and with the divinity and with the afterlife uh, since ancient times. And it's always been a part of that culture. So they've, they've always been, they've always walked 
And so as you see, perfume has an ancient and a long history uh, within spirituality, as it was created by the first alchemists, th those, those, those scientists of those times who are, were similar to modern-day sorcerer or magician. Uh, but after Egypt, we can go on and on because then we have the Arabian perfumes, the Middle Eastern perfumes, and their incenses the ouds and all that and then we can go into italy and france and europe that would be a long history and that is not what the video was for i just wanted to give you a basic introduction of of what the history of perfume was and how it's associated with spirituality and magic since ancient of times uh, but again i want to answer that question which goes back to a lot of people with their comfort ground with florida water and when they enter into a botanica they see all these colognes and they see all these perfumes and so they do not know uh, what they're for, what they're used for. We know that Florida water, like all of these that I'm going to talk about, are used for cleansing and for purifications. Many are used for offerings to the spirits. Uh, many spirit, spirits like a certain sense. Mer many divinities, like I said earlier, Erzuli Freda enjoys this, Maria Leonza enjoys this, uh, Dantor, uh, La Conga, uh, La Gitanas enjoy this, uh, La Madamas enjoy this, they enjoy this scent a little bit more. So now I want to show you more uh, perfumes because a lot of people run to Florida water. Uh, that's the basic one that everyone enjoys. Uh, and then there's all these other colognes and perfumes that I think people should try, that they, they're, they're just as good. And so we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna bring a special guest in right now. We're gonna talk about other perfumes that I think that you guys should experiment within your spirituality. Agua Florida is the king, but there are a lot of options out there that you can try and use within your spirituality, within your voodoo, within your hoodoo, within your brujeria, within your witchcraft, within your magic, or within your spirituality in general. So we're gonna, I'm gonna bring in my guest and we're gonna go from there. Okay, so here is my guest. Introduce yourself. Terry. Terry is here, and we're, this is the second part on the spiritual colognes and how we use it. And he bought a gift today. Uh, if you can see that, it's got a whole bunch of goodies. And so he's going to do one side of some of the clones, and I'm going to do some of the clones. Um, and which one do you want to pull up first? First, uh, we've got okay. Florida. Uh, Florida, the original one? Yeah, because I was talking about the Florida water and was using the Goya brand. So this is the Eau de Agua Perfumada, or the floral cologne per excellence used in spiritism, santeria, voodoo, and all those traditions. I've already spoken about that, a little bit of the history. So I'm gonna let him pull one out, and how I, we, I talked about how we use it. I don't know if you wanna add. Or I mean, I don't know how, what, what you explain on. I just used, told them how we use it to cleanse, how, how we use it to purify, mm -hmm. and how mediums discovered that in the, in the olden days, what mediums would do, when they would have a scene, I said they didn't use clothes, they would use water with petals of flowers. Yeah. And they realized that the essence of the cologne, or the Florida water, uh, would be like a smelling salt. You know, when someone fainted in the olden days, they would use the smelling mm -hmm. salt. The aroma would bring the medium back. It refreshes. It refreshes them and would bring them back. Especially the citric smell, the citrus smell, the citrus mm -hmm. smell. Um, of bergamot and the cloves mm -hmm. and things like that. And it's also the the strong the, uh, the smells itself attracts um, more of the lighter energies mm -hmm. um, because it is a clean smell. Exactly. Um, you know when you have like things that smell like sulfur or something, uh, old eggs, things like that. That brings you know negative. darker negative right. things. This is actually to counteract that. Yeah, so it's like a like attracts like, mm -hmm. you know. So this is one. Okay, so I'm gonna let him pull one out, whichever comes out. We've got twelve colognes, <laughs> and he's gonna talk about. I think that's Kananga water, which is a really popular cologne within Espiritismo, made with Yalang Yalang. It's made with Yalang Yalang. Um, most of the Yalang Yalang comes from actually Jamaica. Mm -hmm. um, but the 
Chinese are actually the ones that distilled it and made the perfumes out of it. So if you look at it, it's very Hong Kong fooey in the letters, mm -hmm. the way they write it, Kananga. Kananga. You know, all this time I used to think that this is um, uh, a scent that was Asian. Even, you know, I knew Asian things and I thought this was, oh, you know, oh, stereotypical Asian. Mm -hmm. But it was actually... A Jamaican flower. Yeah, it goes all over the Caribbean. It goes all over the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was just the, the Chinese that came and distilled the smell. So you want to open it up and smell it? Now, how would you like that? The Lang Lang is a very strong mm -hmm. floral mm -hmm. smell. It smells like my grandma. Mm -hmm. um, it's deep. Um, very... The notes are very musky. Mm -hmm. um, I forgot what they... Actually, Kananga water is used a lot in... It's used for protection. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's yeah, used yeah. for protection. While Florida water is used for cleansing and purifying, mm -hmm. this would be used for protection, for removing negative vibrations. This is a favorite. While this is a favorite of lighter energy spirits, this would be more of a favorite of aggressive, aggressive spirits. spirits yeah. Congo spirits mm -hmm. love this. Lo Gitano, the Romani spirits mm -hmm. love this. I don't know in Brazil if they have this similar for La Pumbashira. Yeah, um, Pumbashira, they we use this, but they also use smells that are like, we don't have it, but like Siete Macho. Okay. Like a strong smell, but that's for the issues. Um, yes, gotcha. But also, um, like perfumey smell, this would actually work because right. um, for La Pumbashira, she would like um, floral, very... Uh, lady of the night kind of smells which yeah, exactly. this falls under which this falls under and it's very musky and again while this is used for cleansing and purifying mm -hmm. this would be used more for protection mm -hmm. and this would be used if a spirit of a fiery energy mm -hmm. let's let's use that term a congo spirit would like this mm -hmm. a conga spirit would like this um, uh, i'm not too, too sure about the brazilian culture and what they use for their colognes but those gitanos <coughs> gypsy spirits mm -hmm. which, are very, which are very aggressive when they do come down they tend to enjoy this cologne. It kind of pacifies them. It makes puts them in a good mood. Exactly. What's the company? Is this uh random? This one is... Or is it? Crucea and Crucea. Cobra. All right, so first of all... From Miami. So the only thing... Yeah, the box says... The box says Murray and Landon, which is the original... Well... Agua Florida, yeah. the because original El de Cologne. Uh, there was a dozen of flo uh, yeah. Florida water in here. The, the original El de Cologne is by Jean, oh my God, Jean, Fa uh, Jean Marie Farina, who went to, and I said that earlier, from France to Italy, and he created the Cologne 4711, which we know today. Mm -hmm. So, Crucella. Crucella is a company from Cuba. And they were well known for doing toiletry waters, waters that we use in, 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 in the bathroom to refresh and to cleanse, to purify. They left Cuba during the Cuban Rev, uh, Revolution, 1958-59, mm -hmm. if I'm wrong with the date. I'm sorry about that. I can't remember. And they opened in Miami, and their first uh, product in the United States is Colonia 18,000, Colonia 1800. I'm going to have Terry smell it. Now, these are all water, and I'm going to explain that in a second. It smells like brujeria. It smells like brujeria? It smells like it's bugle water. It smells like a botanica. Oh, yeah, this is good. It smells like my dad's coat. <laughs> Very macho. Um, all these colognes can be used in spiritual baths, in sessiones, to refresh and um, to sprinkle on the altar, to cleanse, to purify. This is a little bit more spicier than Florida water. Florida water is very citrusy. This is, if you were to say, this is a sport cologne, and this is what you would wear to dinner. Yeah, and it's good. Now remember, these, Day and night. these are, these are, let's go down the level of perfumes, okay? There's, I think there's five, if I'm, I'm, I'm incorrect, I'll correct myself in a second. The purest, of course, is essential oils. Essential oils. Okay. Distilled oils. Then we're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go away from that. The second one, or well, the first one is perfume, which has 20 to 15 to 20, 15 to 30 percent essential oils with alcohol. If I'm incorrect, I'll put a, a picture down below. Um, the, uh, but the essential oils? Yeah. The essential oils are just pure oils that come for that float on top of the water when right. they 
mm -hmm. it up, and that's the pure oil. Right, exactly. But then uh, perfume has around 15 to 30 that's percent of that. The perfume oil, yeah. Exactly. There's two types of perfumes. There's an oil perfume perfume. Which is much more powerful. Much more expensive. Which is extract. Uh -huh. Very extract. Then we have the perfume. Yeah. Then, the cut. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then there's eau de perfume, no? That's eau de perfume. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then after that, we have toilet. Water. Toilet. Eau de toilet. <laughs> the toilet. Is, uh, Which is, it's perfume mm -hmm. cut with alcohol, cut mm -hmm. with distilled water. Okay. And that's around 15 to 20%. Mm -hmm. The less oil you have, the less longer it lasts in the body. Mm -hmm. Then we have eau de cologne. Eau means water. Cologne, come, Cologne, the word Colonia comes from Germany, the, the town where the first Eau de Cologne was created. That has, I think it's 5 to 10 percent essential oils, if I'm incorrect. Again, I'm going to put a, a picture down below. And the less, like I said, the less it has, the less essential oils it has or perfumes, it lasts longer, lasts less. Then we have, just a missing one. Uh, eau de fraiche or uh, agua de frescar, which are the, what these are. These have one to five percent, literally one to five percent. They only last on the body one hour. They're only meant to purify, to cleanse, and we use them in a gathering so that not everyone's smelling like perfume for three or four hours. It is used that to bring the medium down or to cleanse and as the perfume the aromas goes into the air so does the energy mm -hmm. correct am i correct in saying that so i like it it's, it's a classic we mm -hmm. use this for bath a lot of baths you yeah. use this you add this to your when you make an herbal uh, for your baths you could add this to your bath you could add this to my, the house you could add this to sprinkle around the windows mm -hmm. again I, I like it it smells good i like to cleanse and purify you know Okay, so he's gonna pull one out and next. it does smell like brujeria. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right, the next one is sandalo. 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 This is another one that has another Asian motif. And I'm gonna I'm gonna <clears throat> go with you there because mm -hmm. this is also sandalo. But mm -hmm. Go ahead. So but, we'll cut. Okay, for sandalwood, sandal water. Mm -hmm. For us, this is. The quickest way to get in contact with a higher entity, mm -hmm. um, like when we burn incense of sandalwood, that gets the attention of all the um, higher Buddhas or higher um, ascended masters, etc. Mm -hmm. um, the liquid form that we put on our, we could put on our body. Also, we could put it on, you know. Little gri gri bags or big mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. It's to attract. It's a torture. Um, it mm -hmm. attracts, and also this has a very strong protective, very grounding. Yeah, it uh, very creates grounding. a little barrier mm -hmm. around you. So sandalwood is again, it's a very. Uh, it depends on what you get. Some of them are sweet. Mm -hmm. Like this one isn't. This one smells like, like um. Hold on. That one smells more like sandalwood. Yeah, this actually yeah. smells more like candlewood. Uh, sorry, candlewood. Sandalwood. Yeah. This one actually smells like more. It's, it has a sandalwood hint to it, but it's more of a curio. You exactly. Know, it's like, um, you know, just to say, oh, I have sandalwood water. But I prefer this one. This one smells good. Yeah. One thing about perfumes, I'm going to go that. Now, if you, if you know about the aura and you know about the chakras, okay? We have seven auras. We have seven, you know, auras that protrude off the body. This wears close to the skin, closer to the the, the aura. This this closest to the skin, so it, it's very protective. It also um, matches your pH balance for Sounds your good. body. So when you sweat, it blooms again. Mm -hmm. um, sandal water. If you have the pure sandal water or sandal sandalwood powder that makes the water it's actually really good for your skin because it also tightens the skin mm -hmm. especially for you know people are worried about the little wrinkles and things mm -hmm. like that you put it on it actually helps with the elasticity now another thing that a lot of brujos and espiritus does do to every of these colognes is they like to put the actual herb in there mm -hmm. okay you will see i'm surprised this isn't that sandal no you'll see sandalwood or Maybe the pocholi might have pochori. Mm -hmm. Some will have ruda, some will have romero. Mm -hmm. It will have that herb. 
hangs. hangs they actually put it in there. Like a worm in tequila. Exactly. Right All right. All right. So sandalwood. Sandalwood. And that's sandal in Spanish. All right. Rue. 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 This is another one that's very good for... Actually, we use this to cut a lot of things with. Mm -hmm. um, you could cut this with Agua Florida. Mm -hmm. You could cut this with, of course, bats. Mm -hmm. um, you could cut this make with uh, Lucky Water. Mm -hmm. um, by itself... I'm not too keen on the smell. Yeah. Yeah. I, I use a pañuelo. Use an old one. Because mm -hmm. Ruda has I like a, it. I smells, enjoy it. It smells like Valerian. Yeah, I like the smell of, of Ruda. This is actually used to attract positive energies, mm -hmm. to attract good luck. Mm -hmm. You can. He doesn't like it. I love the smell of Ruda. A lot of people do not like the smell of Ruda. One thing about it. yeah, one thing about Ruda. Ruda was brought to Spain by the Italians, correct? I think the Italians, yeah. the Romans. The Ruta. Yeah, they brought La Ruta into uh, Spain, and then Spain brought that plant into the Caribbean. So all the qualities that are in Strega, which is Italian witchcraft. That has to do with ruda is the same with a mm -hmm. la ruda water. We keep it in the front door, mm -hmm. the back door for protection, to guard. Mm -hmm. and this is good for protection. Yeah, you cleanse the house, purify the house, mm -hmm. and wash the house. So most of these, you know, they have similar properties for. I mean, you can use it. Mm -hmm. There's multiple uses for it, but mm -hmm. all what they all have mm -hmm. in common is you could use it as a protective. Exactly. Um, Essence. Now, sandalo. We didn't say what spirit would attract sandalo. Sandalo. I think you did. Maybe you sandalo did. Was a, for us, it's the the Buddhas, the higher, uh, the higher, higher entities, ascended masters, mm -hmm. the spirits of a higher mm -hmm. nivel, cuadra espiritual. Mm -hmm. This would attract la brujas. If you have a, a, a spirit guide that's a witch, um, or, or, a, a traveler, mm -hmm. a Romani, a gypsy, an Arabe. This would attract mm -hmm. that energy. And I think it's matcha, correct? Yep. So I'm gonna take tabaco. This is also Cruzella. This is Colonia from this company. Okay. Uh, and this is used to this is used for protection. And as a cologne, the Congo spirits enjoy this cologne. A aggressive spirit, spirits of fire. If you're from Brazil, this would attract the issues. The issue, the, the Petroveljos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, okay. the old. Los the, the old Los, los Felipe, mm -hmm. eh, La, Nene, la yeah. Madamas. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it smells good. It smells it smells a little bit, actually, almost the same thing, but it's a little... It doesn't smell like tobacco. You're not going to get a tobacco smell. You might. It yeah. has more of a musky smell, a musk. Mm -hmm. um, like a... Mm, what could I... I don't know. Like a, I don't know, like a noir, like a... Darker smell. Yeah, yeah, it's like a darker aroma. Mm -hmm. So this would attract those mm -hmm. spirits on fire. Like I said, the Congo. Mm -hmm. this, this is good for protection. You can use this in your bath for protection. Mm -hmm. You can use it for the house floor washes to mop. You add it to your mop water for protection, mm -hmm. for cleansing, general cleansing. And black leather, that's also smells like too. Yeah, it's got a leathery scent to it. Very grounding. All right. Compesarapoy. Yeah, Rompe I'm not too familiar with this one. Actually, I never smelled this before. Yeah, Rompe Saraguay, the Saraguay is a herb of the Caribbean. Uh, it grows in Puerto Rico, Cuba, but all throughout Latin America. Very sacred to the native uh, Taino people, the Arawak. They use it as for protection and it's still used in, in, in Santeria. For protection, to remove curses, to remove black magic. How does it smell? It actually smells really good. Yeah, it's used for breaking black magic, breaking a curse, breaking hexes, 
cleansing, purifying, grounding, giving you strength. You know, it has a like it reminds me of my childhood. It smells like rompe salagüey. Kind of like a better version of fabuloso. A better version of fabuloso. Yeah, rompe salagüey. Um, and you will oft I don't I can't remember the name of rompe salagüey in English. I'll probably I'll. Google it and I'll put it right around here somewhere so you can know what the name of it is. That herb is in English, but again, it's good for protection, for breaking hexes, for breaking curses. Use this in a bath, use this in your floor wash, use it in your resguardos for your charms, sprinkle it on your charms, and it's good for that. It does smell good. I love Rompe Sanagüey. Very powerful herb in Caribbean, his spirituality and magic. And Betty Verit. We use this as an offering and as for all the spirits. All the spirits love Fetty Bird for cleansing, for purifying. Mm -hmm. Isn't that? Yeah. I was told that Fetty Bird is attracts a lot of the water spirits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the spirits that are really emotional, mm -hmm. that are. Um, oh, sorry. No worry. Actually, they all got that. Yeah, this would attract the water spirits. I can see Oshun enjoying this. I can see Maria Leonza enjoying this. Um, Betty Bird, do they use this in India? Spirits of, of, of a watery nature. Yeah, they do for like, um, even for Maganga. Yeah. Would, um, there's a herb that we would uh, use burn with that. Um, but as a liquid form, I think it was the Caribbean or the Latin community mm. that actually perfected the good. making a perfumes out of that. Or good for butter. love. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. good for love. Mm -hmm. This is good for love baths, uh, for attracting. Um, also for depression. Yeah, if all of these actually are pretty good for that. Yeah, well, some. Yeah, <laughs> depends um, on your palate. You know what I'm saying? He didn't enjoy. This will make me depressed. Yeah, he didn't enjoy that, but I loved it. I'm, I guess I'm used to it. Uh, yeah, even root of the plant when you smash it on your finger. But okay. see the color, it's got that ochun color to it. The golden yellow. Golden will attract love, mm -hmm. happiness. I'm not sure it will attract money, but hey, try it when you go play bingo. Take a bath in this, sprinkle it in your lucky Buddha or something like that. Mm -hmm. Let's see where it goes. Check it out. Uh, Patchouli. Patchouli. Now show that bottle at the other side because there's something interesting in that. It has the, the roots. The patchouli the, roots. Yeah, the patchouli. See, this is the, you know, sometimes you get, you'll have, like, the ruda, there'll be ruda inside. Mm -hmm. But this one is pretty cool because it comes with the mm -hmm. herb. Mm -hmm. And after, you could just dry it, too. And mm -hmm. then um, you could put it inside your little, you know, de guardo. A de guardo, which is a, like, a, like a little mojo bag. Yeah, little groovy bags, Gruggy things like bag. that. So that's... Really good. Patchouli. Good for grounding. A, grounding. It's a very heavy scent. Good for um, luck. Good for emotions. Especially yep. if you want to calm down and you want to... Yeah. This is very earthy. So, like in the 60s when the hippies used to wear this a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very calming. Mm -hmm. um, you know, free love. For zen. Kind of yeah. That, that energy of zen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells good. It smells... If you, you know the um, folks that go to New Age stores a lot, yeah, that smell when you first go inside of a New Age store, your crystals everywhere and things like that. This mm -hmm. is actually the smell. It smells just like one of those uh, stores, which it gives you like an instant comfort. Mm -hmm. But spiritually, patchouli is another one that you get the the grace of the higher entities. They grace you with their their power or their strength or their mm -hmm. protection. Spirits. Mm -hmm. What spirits would you this, uh, think? Patchouli. Patchouli. I would think traveling guides. Yeah, but earth I spirits. earth spirits like doing mm -hmm. this. Yeah, or, earth spirits yeah. would enjoy this. Um, like an ekeko would like that. Ekeko. Yeah. Um, also, a lot of Hindu spirits, uh, Hindu deities, entities, um, even Asian, of course. Um, earth 
which, which of course, like the gypsies, the the civilian gypsies from Sevi, mm -hmm. uh, have that smell. That's like a natural, like a body deodorizer. Yeah, actually, uh, the lot many gypsies that from Sacramento when they dance flamenco, they use a lot of floral oil mm -hmm. and this. And when they dance flamenco, they get mounted mm -hmm. by the duende spirits. That's what makes them dance. So uh, it's called the duende. And then stomping on the ground. So yeah. foot is actually. It is a form of a ritual where you're pacifying the spirits of the earth, mm -hmm. where you're connecting to the spirits of the earth. Exactly. So that's why when you see the flamenco feet, yeah. and when they're dancing, it looks just like the Odissi dance when they dance in India to you know bring up the deities from the earth. Okay, was it my turn, right? Mm -hmm. Lavanda, lavender, good for sleep, good for comfort, mm -hmm. good for ang anxiety, anxiety mm -hmm. depression. Mm -hmm. Smell. I always have terry smell first because I smell like everything in our house. <clears throat> you smell the lavender? I smell the lavender. Um... In the olden days, these again, they would use these to. That <laughs> wait, let me let this breathe a little bit. <laughs> they would use a. Not so much perfumes, because perfumes were very expensive. So they would use Eau de Cologne. Eau de Cologne. Uh, Remember, uh, in the olden days... The, the, <laughs> the soil, eh? yeah. yeah, they would use this to walk around to protect from mm -hmm. aromas around, you know. The plague. The plague and all that. They would believe that the perfumes have healing. Mm -hmm. They do have healing properties. Um, <clears throat> and that they would have... Mm -hmm. I call that? Keep the plague away? I can't uh, think a, of the word. Antiseptic. Yeah. But just like juniper berries and things like that, some mm -hmm. of it did. Mm -hmm. um, like lavender water, I could get a little bit more deeper into that. Mm -hmm. The way lavender, the scent works. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, when you do aromatherapy, it goes into your nose, your brain releases specific chemicals. Mm -hmm. Like this will release um, calming chemical chemistry or chemical inside your brain. You have a like a chemical imbalance. It'll help it relax mm -hmm. um also produces um, um melatonin i think that is mm -hmm. something that it'll release mm -hmm. that's why you get sleepy mm -hmm. you know your body is actually producing something more mm -hmm. just by the trigger of the smell of lavender that's why if you go to france or some um you know place even in italy you'll have lavender strewn mm -hmm. and uh entrance of your house so you just step on when you step on the flowers the smell blooms so when you come into the house you're relaxed mm -hmm. it has a double meaning to that not only are you coming into something that smells good you're going into somebody's house you're going to your house calm you're bringing calm energy into your house mm -hmm. so not only does it smell good it also helps bring peace mm -hmm. and that was lavender water mm -hmm. and i think we're almost close to the end Basil? Albaca. Albaca is basil. basil. It is basil, right? Yes, okay. but albaca. Sorry. Like, I was looking at albaca. I was like... Albaca. Basil. Very sacred to many spirits. Um, Go for purification. For cleansing. I think I would smell delicious. Uh -huh. like, if I could cook myself. No. I love... <laughs> albaca. Oh, yeah. You love the basil. I love basil. Oh, yeah. But this doesn't really smell like basil. No. It's like um, a perfume form of basil. It's, it's, it's kind of different. It's not basil oh, like in it. smell. Sweet. It's, yeah. It Very probably has sweet. an essence. Like one of the Very. bottom notes are... Um, Very, very sweet. Are sweet basil. Mm -hmm. But the top notes are, of course, you know, other things are... So this would bring sweetness into your life. Luck. Luck. A lot this would of luck. be good for luck. Uh, sprinkle this on your mojo badge or reguardos. Sprinkle this when you go, I guess, play bingo if you're into mm -hmm. the lottery. Put it on your underwear and wear it backwards. There you go. For, for luck. Mm -hmm. Again, mop, add this to your floor wash. Yeah. Mop in the good luck mm -hmm. to your bath to attract positive energies and luck. luck very sacred to many spirits. Mm -hmm. You use this a lot, and when you um, 
when you prepare statues, mm -hmm. when you prepare collares. Oh, yeah. The, the yeah. albaca. This is one of the, the main, herb yeah, herb itself. Herb itself. Yeah, mm -hmm. but when you, you know, you don't have it on hand mm -hmm. and you feel like, oh, it needs to, it feels kind of heavy. It's kind of Then you want, hot. yeah, your, 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 your charms mm -hmm. or your talismans, you want to cool it down and this would be perfect with this. If you can't get this, of course, the Cologne de Resistance. Yeah, you, can't <laughs> go wrong. you can't go wrong with Florida water. Mm -hmm. It's like co the color candles. If you can't find it, use white. white. Then use Florida yeah. water if you can't find none of these stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, my last one, I am assuming, correct? Uh, no. How many you got? One. So, this is my last one. Well, he's already got it. Yeah. Okay. Orange water. Orange water. Oh, was it? Wait. Agua de Azahar. I call it not uh, We call it orange blossom. Oh, excuse me. Agua de Azahar. <laughs> Agua de Azahar. Very, very good word. Sorry. Orange water. Actually, this orange blossom water. It's not as citrusy as you would think. Um, mm -hmm. Orange, like, mm -hmm. uh, what is a very c citrusy smell? 4711. 4711 is a stronger, it's more of a upbeat. This, mm -hmm. when you wake up in the morning and you splash on, let's say 4711, Agua Florida, it Agua Florida. instantly wakes you up. Yeah. This is like. You just said a keyword too. You just said a keyword too. It is a calming, you wake up smiling softly. Mm -hmm. um, also for a spiritual awakening. Exactly. If you want to, you know, you just want to go and start to pray, but you're just getting into the groove. Okay, let me let me start with my thanks. Mm -hmm. You know, you were slowly doing it, whatever. You put something like that on. You would like pop that on and then breathe in, breathe out, relax. Mm -hmm. Another reason why we use Florida water in session is to instantly wake the medium. Because when a medium mounts a spirit, oftentimes they're like, they don't even know where they are. So this helps them to wake them up, to get them back into the world of la materia, the world of, of physical. The physical world, yeah. The physical world, okay? Mm -hmm. That was a good, that was a good key word. And that was your last one? Yep. My last one is, and this is a different brand because these are all Crusella, which I said was that Cuban company that migrated to Miami. This one is Sol de Oro, and I think Sol de Oro is from España, from Spain. The old ladies love this stuff on babies. Yeah. All um, throughout the Caribbean. I'm going to let Terry me... about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Cuban babies. Okay. I don't know. If maybe it's our generation. We no, all... All Latinos. Uh, all Latinos. Okay. What? Can I, can I say something? You, uh, Europeans and Americans might not understand that. Latinos, we perfume our babies. <laughs> we, we, we do perfume our babies with these... You Soft are perfumes. pretty much dipped in this. Mm -hmm. You are constantly smelling like violet water. Mm -hmm. It smells good. Don't get me wrong. But mm -hmm. the first, first year of your life, your diapers, <laughs> your clothes, you smell like violet. And this is something that everyone in the house smells like in the Caribbean. Abuelita, papa, mama, the babies. Unless they're using, you know, genete. Unless they're using Ginate or <laughs> Nanuco, Nanuco, which I'll put a picture right here, is the Spanish version of, of this. In, in Spain, they use Nanuco. Mm -hmm. and in they, the Caribbean, we use... Yeah. Violet water. Violet, agua de violetas. But um, I used to remember that it used to be stronger. It could be the brand. Yeah. It could be it the brand. It used to be a lot stronger. It could be the brand. I remember I used to have a scratch and sniff. Yeah. My like grandma used to. Yeah, I smell. Yeah. Again, we use that for the babies. Mm -hmm. And it also, the for reason protection. why... Protection. For protection. Yeah. For protection. From the evil eye, mal de ojo. Mal de ojo. Mm -hmm. Good for protection from the um, evil eye. And it's also mm. um, another thing that helps them keep them calm. It also was told that when you put lavender on babies, it helps with colic, mm -hmm. crying... Um, lavender or violet? La uh, violet. Sorry, oh. not lavender. Violet also, well, lavender too, okay. but violet was more, I guess we use that more than the uh, lavender. Yeah. Lavender is more European, like France, they used to use that, Caribbean, This and also, Spain. This, this would be also used on the skin, 
La lavanda would be used mostly on the clothing. Yeah, they would put Sprinkle this... Sprinkle this on the clothing, yeah. I guess. They would put this on the baby's pillow. Yeah, on the pillow or on your, you know... Baby's bib. On your... your, your handkerchief. Handkerchief. Yep. Your pañuelito. Um, gloves. Used gloves. to be scented with it. Always violeta. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you liked it? I know, I mean, it reminds... It um, brings back memories. That and la chancla. La chancleta. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, this is what's used for a lot of. It, it, it's a protective. Yes. Lavender, uh, violet water was um, always. It was always told, you know, you have that on. It keeps the mouth all away. Mm. Um, uh, what else? We smell like a botanica. Ooh. I smell like a Cuban. Baby. I smell like brujeria, pa fuera. <laughs> yeah. So. It smells good. This, yeah, it reminds me of my childhood. It's but very good for protection against the evil eye. Yeah, mal de ojo. Mm -hmm. That's why we use it a lot on the babies. And in the 1800s, um, Queen Victoria's time, mm -hmm. um, the only scent that a man was allowed to wear, mm -hmm. um, because perfume was considered only for prostitutes and things like that, the only smell that was approved, let's just say, like from Queen Victoria. Mm -hmm. was violet water it's not a scent that's too strong it's a clean smell um it was well liked also used as um aftershave mm -hmm. um so if you're looking for a smell that's not offensive mm -hmm. um or you don't have to worry about people thinking okay there's different smells people are not used to mm -hmm. and you want to come in softly you could just use exactly. something like this but you know you'll it'll uplift you at the same time Spiritually protect you, and at the same time, I love this one. Okay, sorry. Um, if you're Latino or Latina, you'll remember this smell. It'll bring right. back memories, uh, good ones and bad ones. But uh, this is something that you, it's good to have. Right. So now we're gonna end the video. Uh, I'm happy that Terry was here. <laughs> it made it much easier for me to talk about. One thing that we want to let people know, we mentioned perfumes and all that. We want people to know that these are not perfumes. These are... Waters. Yeah, these are spiritual waters uh, that are used, like we've stated, for cleansing, for purifying. For yourself. For yourself. They don't last long in the body. And to understand that, you want to understand the layers of the, not the chakra so much, more so the layers aura. of the aura, which you have the etheric, which is closest to the skin, the mental, the emotional, the casual, I think. The casual is it? Catharic. Uh-huh. And then the last one, which protrudes the furthest, is the catharic. Catharic is the casual. Catharic. The catharic, catharic is, which is, perfumes protrude further. You said something. Um, what people do is get by the perfume. Uh -huh. It's not only for themselves it's to get noticed so what you're trying to do is you're mm -hmm. piercing somebody else's personal space is mm -hmm. to get grab their attention exactly. so that's what perfume does it goes out to grab yeah, this right. is to go in and out in and out so it, it works more in the emotional mm -hmm. and the mental mm -hmm. and the etheric mm -hmm. layers of the aura mm -hmm. uh, and again use these all for spiritual cleansing purifying for bath for washing we all picked one of, or he picked one of his favorites, and I picked one of my favorites. His favorite is? The violet. The violet water. He loved the violet water. And if you've seen all my videos and all the clones that I, I've talked about, Doc Rebel Writer and Dirty Diana, as Brian calls it. Brian, that picture right there. He likes to diss me. I'm going to put it on the video, don't worry. Sandalwood. I love the sandalwood. It's very earthy, very grounding. Mm -hmm. I like, I love amber, I love leather, I love tobacco notes and sandalwood, and I like the pocholi too. But the pocholi is a little sweet, but this one is my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that like button. There's a bell button right there for notifications when I put out future videos. Smash that button and you will get uh, notifications when I have future videos. Go to the Botanicas and try these out. Uh, step away from uh, La Agua Florida. I don't know where it is, but step away from La Agua Florida and try new things. Let's try new things. Okay. Sasista Brujo Luis and... Terry. And a special shout out to... Oh, Jeremy and Yvette. Jeremy and Yvette who went to the Botanica and picked these all up 
for us. Jeremy and Yvette, I, I love you guys. Mucho, mucho. El corazón. Un besito. And to everybody, I love you guys all. La bruja hace su trabajo con un tabaco en la boca. Se dan cuatro zapatazos para conseguirlo, muchachos. Y un pañuelo colorado.